Alrighty, good morning and welcome back. You can see we've got another nice couple uh, burger patties in front of us today. This is 8515 ground beef. Uh, I made these burgers up myself. Uh, the ingredients in the background, the two seasonings, uh, the W sauce, the barbecue sauce, and tapatio. Pretty much I just put the burger, the one pound of ground beef into a bowl. I put all those ingredients in it. Um, to give you some kind of idea, I'd probably say I did about two dashes of the tapatio, did about five dashes of the W sauce. I did about a two second squirt of barbecue sauce, uh, real scientific I know, and then uh, I seasoned the taste in the beef, mixed it all up, made them into patties, and then I went back on top of it just with a little bit more of this, uh, this Scotty's Meat RX, uh, pretty good stuff, I liked it on them beef uh, spare ribs I did, or beef short ribs I did last night. So we're going to do this on the pits and spits today. Um, 225 is what we're going to cook at, uh, these turn out really good, we're not going to flip them, you know, so they're called no flip burgers. Uh, we're going to do them at 225, we'll probably bring them up to an internal Right around that 155, 160 range, probably closer to 160, and uh, yeah, we'll have some burgers for lunch. So besides that, uh, oh yeah, the bacon. Once I throw the burgers on, I'm also going to put, I don't know, about half a pack of bacon on there, have some bacon with my burger, or some burger with my bacon, either way. <laughs> so besides that, uh, I'm going to sign off here, and uh, I'll pick back up when I'm done at the grill. Alrighty, done with the pits and spits, just threw the burgers on, give you a quick peek. There the burgers would be. I don't know if you can see it or not. Sure you can. I uh, see we're cooking on the top rack today. Um, yeah, so I got it smoking away really nice. Uh, cooking at 225. Uh, I am going to throw a 10 probe in one of the burgers, but what I like to do with uh, like burgers or even meatloaf for that matter, I like to let it cook for a little bit and then probe it once it gets a, you know once it firms up a little bit. I find that it's more like it's easier to place the probe and for it to actually stick somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead. Probably let this go for about an hour, and then uh, I'll probably throw a probe in one of the burgers. So I'll pick up when I do that. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are one hour into the burgers. Give you a quick peek. I uh, just did throw a probe in it, and the burgers are reading right around like 147, 148. Um, yeah, I probably got another half hour or so to go. Uh, the bacon is done. I tried a piece already because well, who cooks bacon it doesn't have a piece of bacon when they check it. Uh, but bacon is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. And uh, I will probably pick back up uh, one more time when it's all plated up and time to eat. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, so we are back and it is time to eat. Uh, real quick over to cook times. Uh, cook temp obviously was 225. And these burgers cooked for about one hour and 40 minutes. Brought them up to an internal of 155. And I uh, see a nice piece of cheese on there. Then I went with a layer of bacon, an onion, a tomato, and more bacon. So here's the final product. Uh, what I like to do with burgers, and a nice beer for lunch too, uh, but what I like to do, instead of using like ketchup and mustard, I just like to take a little bit of barbecue sauce. And there's that. And let's go ahead and try this. Pretty big burger. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. Like I said, uh, for you guys and girls who haven't tried the no-flip burgers, try them. Just make them however you want. Uh, they are awesome. So besides that, I'm going to go ahead and eat lunch. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.